This is the first of my fundraising updates. So first of all, what I want to do is to thank everyone who has sponsored me to complete the marathon for Children in Crisis. Now I've sent everybody their own individual notes, but for those of you who have visited this page and are thinking of supporting me to run the Marathon for Children in Crisis, I just want to say, as I've written to everybody, how important it is really in terms of motivation in the fundraising and doing all the wretched training, how really motivating and nice it is when people write and say they're supporting you and sponsoring you. So first of all, thanks very much. And as you can see, um, I'm getting quite near to the target, but a little way to go yet. Now, a second thing is a lot of you um, have been really nice and you're actually sponsoring me to complete the marathon as my own personal challenge. But it's been really good to read how many of you have left comments and written to me saying, actually, this is a really good cause that you're running for children in crisis. Uh, and that is very um, <laughs> important and motivating too. Um, I'll do another little fundraising update about the pain and grief of training and the fear I often get in the middle of the night running around Richmond Park that I'll expire and get eaten by foxes and badgers, but that is to come. Um, but just to talk about the work that we do in Children in Crisis, it is really important. Um, and there's so much more that we want to do and your support and your sponsorship will help us to do. There's a really brilliant initiative in Liberia, you know, which is campaigning to get over a thousand women into good jobs, real livelihoods that they control themselves, that will free them from dependence upon men and everything that goes along with that, uh, free them to generate their own money so they can make the choices about what they want to do to support their families. That's a project that's going really well, I'm very, very enthusiastic about. And there's Afghanistan, which of course is going through a lot of changes. We do this fantastic work to help girls who have missed out on schooling because of the fighting, because of the war, to catch up, because they're older girls, catch up to the point where they can be admitted into government schools. Last, I mean, there's so much to talk about. Uh, there's uh, work with um, an organisation in Sierra Leone called Wesseford, um, a group run by people who are disabled, um, doing really good work to help get children access into schools, but just creating um, a network of mutual support for all people with disability in Cambia. They're fantastically um, inspirational and over time they have become very close friends. Um, I'll tell you more about the work we're doing, but just for now, this is the first opportunity for me to update uh, and say thank you. Um, and for those of you who are thinking of sponsoring, please do. Thanks.